everybody, it's TT in the Midday and welcome to my diaries. This is where you get to take an inside personal look inside my cuckoo mind to find out what's going on with me. So, the other day I shared with you all that I met a guy. Well, not met a guy. I didn't share this with you. Okay, so the other day I was telling you I went to this art show in Brooklyn because my ex-boyfriend was doing something there and I wanted to like see him and I was saying oh my gosh he's so fine and swagger was popping and all of that but what I didn't tell you is that I also met another guy on my way into the venue I don't know it was something about me Saturday that was just popping I don't know I don't know if it was my swagger was on 10 or was it the short dress I had on maybe the short dress because you know I'm I ain't got no swagger but anyway so I met this guy and we've been talking on the phone and whatnot and I, I don't know like he's like oh you know I can see you in my future and this this and that but I don't know I'm not convinced or I don't know if he's going to a sincere place like fellas is it possible to be infatuated with a woman that you barely know please email me and let me know tttorres at gmail.com that's t-t-t-o-r-r-e-z at gmail.com you know what I'm saying because I have a tendency not to give guys my full attention like I put a block on and it's very hard to get past that wall but as I'm getting older I understand the importance of letting my wall down but when do you do that because I, dude I just met you you know what I'm saying so like fall back a little bit and let me just warm up to you let me get to know you and I don't just dive right in and I don't know if I should be afraid of someone who's just trying to dive right in. You understand what I'm saying? What were your thoughts? I don't have any thoughts. Why? Do you ever dive into girls, Webby? That's my camera guy, Webby D. Do I ever dive into girls? Not literally, I know. <laughs> Bing, uh, as I'm hitting my sound effect in my mind. Not really, no. Is That's it possible? Episode. Is it possible for, for, for a guy to like meet a girl and have great conversation with her because we do have great conversation and say oh my gosh I know that you can be my future yeah but that can scare them a little bit it scares the hell out of me it does and, and whether you said the perfect word because I didn't know what type of emotion to feel like I'm ready to put my Nikes on and start running and you know I'm a stilettos girl you know what I'm saying mm. So is he blowing smoke up my ass or is he coming from a genuine place? And I guess only time will tell. So do I stick around or do I run? Because I'm so used to running. Stick around this time. What do you got to lose? Look at Webby giving me advice. No, I'm supposed you to ask. give the advice. <laughs> I don't know, Webby. I'm afraid to stick around and I'll be the first to admit it. I don't know if I'm in a place where I want to work on a relationship right now because I am so engulfed in my career. Like... I'm at the point in my life where my career is so important to me and it can only go this way. I refuse to allow it to go this way. You understand what I'm saying, Webby? Yep. So I think all of my attention is so focused on it and I'm afraid to give my attention into somebody who could potentially hurt me. And I guess that's where that's coming from. And plus, I just met you. And I hope he's not watching this blog. Yeah, well, if he is. he is, oh well, now you know how I really feel. <laughs> But nevertheless, that's what's going on in my mind today. You know what I'm saying? And um, I don't know if I'm willing to give that attention up, you know, to pick up the phone and call you or do this when I could be working on something. You know what I'm saying? A relationship takes time and it takes cultivating and, and molding and shaping. And I don't know if I am at that space in my life where I am willing to give that to someone. It's between, and then I ask myself, am I afraid to do it? Or am I not? Or am I not willing to do it because this is more important to me? See, it's probably both. It's probably both. Mm -hmm. Doctor Webby over here. All right. Well, please give me some advice. Hit me up, tttorres at gmail .com, Everybody, thank you so much for watching my diary, and make sure you tune into my radio show. It airs live on iPower ninety two one from ten a.m. to three p.m. Go to www.ipower ninety two one dot com, and you can check it out live for those of you who don't live in the Richmond area. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye bye.